This is my hedgehog, Tuck. He is a little over three and a half years old. He came from a breeder in the state. I did not get him from a shop. Um, just about a month ago, he was diagnosed with uh, squamous cell carcinoma. It's inside his mouth. Um, he was given a month to live with no radiation or chemotherapy. We have now just passed that month, and this is what I am doing for him for his treatment. Um, we first thought he had an infected tooth, had him on some antibiotics. Um, it didn't clear it up, so he was put under anesthesia when the mass was found. Then he had a biopsy just about a month ago and came back positive. Um, they said, you know, I could do all the expensive radiation chemotherapy, but it would only give him about six months and cause more pain. Um, so what I've been doing now is what I can from home. He uh, was on the Batril for about two weeks after his biopsy because he had some infection after that. Um, since then, I've also had him on Medicam the entire time. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. That's what's in this syringe. Um, and he gets this a little bit each day to help with some of his pain. Um, he's not a very social hedgehog, so this is not an easy thing to do. It's taken me some time to refine this. But we've got him now as long as they said he was going to go and further. So this is the procedure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this on his side that does not have the mask. And then I'll show you where the mass is. So as you can see, he pops quite a bit. And I just sort of wedge this in the corner of the mouth. Wait for him to stop popping. And slowly inject it. And I'll see his little mouth moving when he's taking it in. And that's going to be the first step. The next thing, we roll him to the other side. You can see his bad side. And it's actually bleeding more tonight than it has in past nights, of course, when I decide to film it. But you can see the mass. So right now we're just trying to keep him as clean as possible. He tries to, he tends to get food packed in there. And so I uh, give him just a warm water bath each night to try to help him. And that's where we're going to go to next. Okay, so here we are now in the bathroom. Um, just a regular sink with some warm water. Sometimes I'll put a vino in for his skin, but when he's just doing his nightlies, I just do straight warm water. And I'm going to go ahead and put him back in first so he can get himself right in to start swimming. And what I'm trying to do, since the majority of the mass is on the lower part of the jaw, is just sort of get the lower part of his jaw down in the water a little bit, like right here, just so his nose is above, that I can get some water there. And you'll start to see the debris that's already floating out. To try to get some of that, he gets shavings and food and everything packed in there. I just try to give this a good soak. And like most hedgehogs, you put them in warm water and they will poop. So we'll give them a rinse after we do this. Um, I don't know, it just sort of sets them off. And once he gets starts to get it wet, I slowly start to work some of this out of his mouth. I could not do this unless he was in the water. And he is a bit more sore tonight, so I'm going to be very careful. It's hard to tell, but I'm being exceptionally gentle here. And he is making a big mess out of the water. So on occasion, this is what you have to do with a hedgehog is... And my drain doesn't work. Go ahead and drain. And I'm going to just do some warm water, like a shower over him. Since he's pooped everywhere. And see if I can't rinse his mouth a little bit more. Of course, trying to keep his nose clear. He actually didn't have that much debris in there tonight. I've had some nights where I've had to empty this a couple of times. But I can actually get my thumb in there and clear some of that out. He's not a social hedgehog, but there, for example, is what he has packed in his mouth. And I can't imagine that that's a good thing to keep in there. We'll let that keep draining. We have some more clean water now. Actually, I think that last swipe got the majority of it. So then the next thing I do, I go ahead and I wrap him up in a towel. He's so happy to be out of that. And isn't he cute? Except for the mass right there. But we're doing the best we can for him. And now we're going to go back to where we were before, and I'm going to show the last step. Smile. Okay, so here we're back. I'm using a cat tree. It's about chest height to me, and I found it works. But So we're back kind of at my workstation here. This is the last step. You can see it's clean. 
it's definitely red. What I've got here now is after some research on the web on squamous cell facial tumors in um, humans, um, eggplant cream seems to help, but it's very expensive. But eggplant is in the nightshade family and does have a lot of curative properties, as well as does turmeric, which is a spice that's been used for hundreds of years. Um, I also mixed in some honey um, to sweeten it up. He likes his honey. And some vitamin D, which has been shown to help in some uh, skin cancers as well, which the squamous cell tumor is part of. So this is the mix I've got. Now, for a non-social hedgehog, he doesn't like this very much, but I just take this syringe, and I found this is the best way to get it in there, and I just pack this in his mouth, trying to do it as gentle as I can. My theory on this is that I'm trying to help him, but I'm not putting him through all the uh, chemotherapy and radiation. That would be a whole lot worse. You know, 10 minutes each night to have this done. I mean, while it's not fun for him, I'm trying to help him, and it's such a small thing compared to what else he could be going through. So I'm just trying to pack that really back in his cheek. And you can see I'm kind of holding the top of him um, so that he doesn't move. And a lot of it is just getting to know your hedgehog and how to hold them. But there he is. He's fully packed. His face will be yellow around that area because I've been doing this procedure now for about three weeks of his month that he's gone with this now since his diagnosis. And I'm hoping that, you know, long term it's going to help him out. But now he's getting agitated. I'm going to take him, put him back in his house, put him on his heat pad so he can warm up after his bath.